Avoiding war altogether would be ideal. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants. And doesn't even care. You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants. And doesn't even care. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity. And I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely. And craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and okay, the worst. Okay, so that's just gonna randomly he sample. Still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. Okay. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. Travel safely. speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition is called. Yet, I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies, for what it's worth. Until later. Stay safe. Greetings. Until later. Stay safe. So this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but it sounded like... Well, it's funny, right? Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. And that's the point, right? It's weird and right there, but they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Is there something else you're looking for? Like, what's behind all this? Maybe. I don't know. First things first, right? I help you. March, march, arrow, kick. Then people stop being stupid, and everything starts to make sense again. Sound good to you, all chosen Lord Herald? I'm committed to putting an end to this crisis, whatever it takes. It's why I'm here, yeah? This is where it gets done, whatever it is.
<laughs> Can't do a bloody thing with everyone pissing themselves. Stupid everyone. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. Yeah. I'll just be the other side of Haven. Just in case. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure, don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. Hmm. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things or the ones who give orders? Start with... Solus. What about Solus? Solus? His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Varric. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. Cassandra? What's about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough, though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. My advisors. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And Cullen. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair though. How about Blackwall? Any thoughts about Warden Blackwall? He's too good, right? I'd like to see him out of that uniform. Not like that. <laughs> Dorian? What about Dorian? <laughs> He's fun. Could lose a bit more to Vinter. Vivienne? What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. Iron Bull? Thoughts on Iron Bull? <laughs> he makes me wonder about things. I mean, what did their women look like? Woof. That's we'll good talk enough. later. Good, right? I'll be here. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Fact. Is the Inquisition what you thought it would be? Well, you're dragging people together, suppose that's something. You're gonna need more trebuchets if you're going after the sky. Or, you know, ladders. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. What about me? You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly, it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Not typically. Usually, it takes considerable discipline. Hence my question. Hence? Look, I work at it. Practice a little. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company back still is no teacher where would i find one in alleyways anyway <laughs> you're different for now you're not like most of the elves i've met thanks right or was that an insult i suppose i could go barefoot and whine like that soulless right never be as good as we were well who's we i'm just fine you're saying Get over. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. Be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. I mean, the Dalish don't really know. They have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress, not history. So where are you from? What about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. 
No ties with mention. There are no connections you want to mention at all? Nope. How very Kunari of you. What? Never mind. Good, right? We'll talk later. If you say so. Something on? Tell me, tell me about your friends. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. Are you just about pranks and revenge, or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease a ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt spring. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall so someone gets something else. Pish, pish, pish. A lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. Good to know. I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I'd just get you with a pie or something. <laughs> anyway, assassin's a bard's job, innit? No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shite at singing. Was there ever a red Jenny? Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Don't know. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, there wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So it's strength and normal. Lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works. Most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. To be clear, I'm not into that. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Pay all the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Catch up with Liliana. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. As for the other wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. I'm still noble. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Let's talk about you. Me? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard. A Norwegian spy for many years. For a time I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. 
Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics, the ebb and flow of influence, the great game. The bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. She kills with kindness. <laughs> I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You seem to know Josephine quite well. I met her a long time ago, but we didn't become good friends until years later. After the blight, in fact. I'd just returned to Val Royale, and she welcomed me back by throwing a diplomatic ball. She was the Antivan ambassador at the time, you see. The ball was... All right. Too many politicians. At midnight, Josie and I left to find a real party. We've been friends ever since. What do you consider a real party? It's not a real party until someone's small clothes are pinned to a chantry board. And that's all I'm saying about it. <laughs> we can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Did you need something? Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. I know Vivian already disapproves automatically. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You have a low opinion of your fellow mages? It's not a matter of opinion, my dear. I have a close relationship with reality. Many of our colleagues do not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're preaching to the choir, Vivian. Tell me something. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? We need mages in the Chantry. Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. Do you need something, my dear? What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? I admire Cassandra's determination. If she had a little charm, she could be a remarkable leader. I want to sneeze really seriously. How may I help you? <laughs> Tell me about the circle. I wanted to ask you about the circle of magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? Tell me about the Templars. You must have an opinion of the Templars after living so long in the circle.
Having opinions about Templars, my dear, is exactly like having opinions about mages or Navarans or men. I have known some who were impossible to endure and some who were utterly charming. I have suffered insults at the hands of those in the armor, but no more than I endured from nobles or tradesmen in Val Royal. Personally, I have found the Templars a useful tool, skilled at keeping more unpleasant elements at bay. If the Circle disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The Circle is an idea, my dear, and an idea cannot be dissolved. Many of the first enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her, the loyalists follow me. I've never been to the Montsimard circle. What was it like? A place of great history and tradition, with the greatest library of magical history outside of the Imperium. It was deeply involved in the great game, as you might expect of anyone living in Orlais. The mages there were quite competitive, but it was stimulating to be always pushed to exceed the abilities of my peers. If the circle disbanded, how can you... The s rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her, the loyalists follow me. If you lead all the loyalists, why are you only First Enchanter and not Grand Enchanter? Grand Enchanters are elected, and since there are no First Enchanters besides myself, no vote can be held. I could name myself Grand Enchanter, but the title holds no meaning now. When the circles are restored, that will change. How did we come to this state with the Circles in revolt? You, my dear, are far too wise not to have realized that many of our colleagues live with their eyes closed. Safe from the world inside their towers, they thought only of the Templars and their own resentment. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia, again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars. Sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? We've met. Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. In her dotage, she could not handle looking after the well-being of so many people. We would have done better to replace her years ago, to let her spend time gardening. Did they have cause to rebel? In the aftermath of their terrorist attacks? Was that really the most opportune time to break away? So by yes, all means but protest it abuses wouldn't... by the Templars. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. So By politics. voting when they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Thedas. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin. But Fiona chose to let the motion stand. Those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking from the Chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. How may I help you? Tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Madam Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know. What Your accent's you not all Asian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. 
But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Mont Simard while still an apprentice. How did you I'm go curious across here? how a circle mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. You married a duke. You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine. Of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Do you need something, my dear? Hang on. I'd like to know more about you, Madam Vin Whatever would you like to know? I'm Nobody... I caught the... When the position of Enchanter to the Imperial Court became... Your... Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. So what does his wife think? I'm Bastien's mistress. And what does the Duchess de Ghislaine think of this arrangement? We got along quite well. Duchess Nicoline and I used to host musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. She passed away from a fever a few years ago, the poor dear. Oh crap. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss I've heard that several times, honestly. Arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Cardinals. We hope... Let's go ahead and get some table missions taken care of. Diplomacy won the day. The clerics have chosen to receive. The clerics chosen to receive aid have been most appreciative and have successfully drowned out our detractors. It's caused an internal struggle. The clerics hiring thugs to kill the clerics. I was forced to intervene. Such disp despicable behavior from those who aspire to the Sunburst throne. The moon the Grand Cathedral is tense, but for now the Chantry can be counted our political ally. Okay. Sister Liliana, I understand that I have you to thank for the sudden approval of proof of Jean Gaspard's heritage. The Grey Warden's love poems were most convincing, although his decision to rhyme falling with calling was less so. <laughs> Regardless, Jean Gaspard has lost all claim to the Duke. Duke Monette wishes no ill will for her uncle. And is asked that he and the men loyal to him join the Inquisition. With luck, Jean Gaspard might regain, in deeds, the honor that he no longer may claim through blood. The young Duchess herself is quite aware that she has you to thank for her position. This pledge, the city of Leeds, to the Inquisition's cause. The Inquisitor's efforts to close the Fade Rifts has increased stability in various regions across Thetis. However, demons sometimes remain. Having water from the site of the original Rifts, the Inquisition has received numerous requests for aid in dealing with this problem. Local nobility should take an interest in securing their lands. We can appeal to them for assistance, or soldiers can do soups to the air if formerly containing Fade Rifts and eliminate any demons. Let us begin. Okay. My name is Sebastian Vale, sole heir of the Vale Princes of Starkhaven. I recently took the throne of this great city from those who sought to gain through unjust means. 
the most devoted adherent of the Chantry. I felt the loss of most. Oh! Right! From, uh. Inquisition 2. Or was it. Not Inquisition 2. Sorry, from Dragon Age 2 or Origins. I don't remember which one, but I remember I helped him ascend to the throne, so. Okay. Commander Colin, I understand that the Inquisition is working with Red Cliffs mages. I'm surprised someone from Kirkwall would condone an arrangement with them. But it does put you in a position to aid us. Hosmo's Circle sustained significant damage during the uprising. Rather than follow the Lord's Seeker, many of our Templars elected to remain. Deal with the aftermath, but our resources are limited. Furthermore, we have Loyalist mages with us. Hosmo's people would happily throw them to the rebellion as it stands. I fear we may fail in our duty to protect them. I trust you sympathize with our predicament. I humbly request our charges to be transferred to the Inquisition. We have a few Templars of our own. Hosmo's, Hosmo's Templars will be comfortable working with them. They can ensure safe passage for the mages. Okay. Still the towards mages remain, but there are ways to travel without drawing notice. Hmm. Nope. All right. So Josephine is required for that first one. Okay. The region between Lake Celestine and the shores of the Waking Sea is known as the Heartlands. Place of vineyards and gilded marble estates the locals refer to as cottages. It's often said that Orlais' heart is plated with gold, and so it seems fitting that Orlais, the heartlands are perhaps the richest place outside of Valrael. Comte de Maurier, Marquise de Comartes, both spending body like water, which to pursue. That's a Josephine problem. I can make no sense of this. The Herald found her. Perhaps he can advise. Colin. Letter from Seraph Hollows. Wear your big hats. Lord, whoever says you're rubbish. Servants don't care, but could. Drop a few things for them. They'll give Josephine a surprise. I think scrolls or something. Sarah. Scribble of heraldic symbols and directions are below. Also, Sarah's name. <laughs> 37 times. Jeez, most of these are Josephine missions. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see what we have and start using the fast process cheat. Basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and move the clock forward until I run out of missions again. Um, yeah, be right back. <laughs> 